Okay. All right. We're back. You there, Todd? I am. Hi. Okay. Very good. These, uh, I'm trying to do a profile here and, um, this is a quite an extremely wide ranging series of events in your life and, and what, I don't know, uh, Brian, we have multidimensional issues here potentially. We have the strange scenario of him being abducted for a reason. There was a reason. He had value. He had value to them for some, for something. And yeah. then there is an encounter, let's see, uh, in which he obviously was damaged physically. Uh, different group of people, different, uh, different intelligence. Uh, don't know. Did you have any, uh, one note I, I had written here, did you have any sense that you had any chunk of missing time during that fishing outing on the boat? You know, um, I had thought about it, but there was really nothing that it could support anything because I had no watch on. I had no way to tell if there was actually any time difference or anything, any missing time or anything, so... I can't say anything for sure. Okay. All right. Very good. Well, this is pretty wild. The disc itself, uh, did it have any kind of marks on it, or was it just that unpolished silver from side to side, the whole thing? No, there was no markings on it at all. All right. And I had a question going back to the triangle, or the triangle, the rectangle you saw early mm -hmm. on. Were there any lights on that? In no. the night sky, or was it just no. black, the whole thing? No it light. It was entirely black. But from the silhouette that I could see it, I mean, I could I could distinguish where the front of it was, where it actually went up to the top part of the craft. I mean, that's how obvious it was. It wasn't just total blackness, but there was a silhouette of everything. Got it. Yeah. Okay, all right. Pretty wild. And your friends, let me guess. Your friends never talked about that disc, did they? No. Do you still nope. see your friends? Yep, I do. And Good. actually, one of them has had numerous sightings with me and on his own since then. So he, I'm certainly not alone anymore. <laughs> well, with that, Todd, with that, because that's interesting right there, too. Um, are these encounters he has had, that when you're talking about it, is this what started, uh, say, before you knew him? Or while he knew you and you guys were together? Well, I, from what I understand, it, it's happened since, since we knew each other, since I was hanging out with him, since I got <laughs> back. <laughs> there you go, that's weird, eh? Yeah, so he got aboard or uh, got onto the, uh, this here. Unreal, that's weird. Actually, there's a few of my close friends, the same sort of thing has happened as well since... All what, would that have been those guys in the boat? Did they have any kind of experiences afterwards that you're aware of, or, or is it some, maybe some of them? Uh, just one fellow off the boat. And okay. He's seen numerous crafts with me, and he's or objects, and he's also seen things on his own as well, but not nearly as close as I have. Well, at least you got some guys you can talk to over this without them thinking you're crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah, well... Good, they, I have some know? very, very, uh, very understanding friends that are very That's supportive good. and, uh, you know, That's makes life so much easier. It does. Awesome. That's good. And, and you know what, you know, um, uh, you know what's really weird? Um, Jeff, do you remember a case there? Because, you, you know, was as, as Todd explains what's going on here in this report, um, you know, somebody thinks flashback, man, we had a guest on there on your show. And uh, he, him and his girlfriend, he came back to his mother's and dad's place, but they stayed in the guest house and they had their experience. And I remember when they were coming out, because he was carried her girlfriend from the guest house to the main house, and he got to the glass door and he wondered why they let the cat out. The cat had, wasn't supposed to be out. But when he, he watched the cat, it wasn't moving. Just like Todd was mentioning, it was kind of like frozen in time. Hmm. It was, you know, that just bounced in my head. I couldn't believe what he was talking about. It's because it's a really... Interesting things that you connect with other reports. Eh? It's fascinating, really. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Although, uh, you know, it can be kind of frightening and scary and, and uh, you know, go through this, of course. Now, your, your friends, Todd, have had experiences as, as well. Can you, would you, do you even dare connect those to your life experiences in any way? Because they were your friends, might they have come under this umbrella of being well, interactive yeah, with? Yeah, actually, I, that's pretty much the way 
my mind is thinking about it simply because throughout their lifetime they had never seen anything until I started to have my close encounters and um, sharing my experiences with them and talking to them about it perhaps helped them to maybe be more perceptive and notice things more instead of, you know, how most people look down or look straight ahead. Hardly ever do we ever look up. So, I mean, perhaps that might be a factor to it. But I think it might be more than that because it was just a few years ago, my father, he had a fairly close encounter, too, with a craft that was only about 25 feet off of the ground. And um, he had never seen anything in his 70 years of life up until that point, too. So, hmm. I, I do strongly feel that there might be some sort of a connection there. I can't say for sure, though. Well, anybody wanting to hang out with Todd for a while might have some <laughs> interesting experiences then. Yep. All right. Okay, very good. Go ahead. This is uh, really uh, quite a wide-ranging, as I said, panorama of events and experiences, and I suspect there are quite a few more. Go, go on, Todd. Okay. Um now it was after the silver disc craft um i pretty much spent the winter in brandon and stayed away from the lake and uh later on in the springtime my best friend and i went back up to the region and we found an old ukrainian log homestead that we uh, decided we were going to take down and resurrect over at the lake oh huh, so, neat all right hold on please todd we have to take a break again we'll come sure. right back and pick up the story. Uh, what kind of a log home was this again? It's a 100-year-old, 1900-old Ukrainian log homestead from the Ukrainian settlers when they first came. Very out. interesting. All right. Back in just a couple minutes. Okay, and we're back talking with Todd, uh, Brian Bike, and I. We want to invite you to sightings.com. Uh, it's back up and running and looking great, thanks to James and Andy and Brian's work. And it is uh, 24 hours a day, the latest UFO ET news from around the world. All right, Todd, please go ahead. Okay, um... We're skipping ahead to the spring after my encounter with a disc in the August before that. Um, I had finally gotten over some of my illness. My hair stopped falling out. My teeth weren't becoming any more loose. And I was feeling a bit more better, more healthier. I didn't have that sickening feeling that I had. Um, my buddy and I had went up to the Parkland region. As I said, we found an old Ukrainian log homestead that we fell in love with and we thought it would look wonderful up at the lake. So we decided to take it down and uh, move it log by log and resurrect it back at the lake. So that's how we spent most of our time doing that. I uh, I always had the silver disc in my mind all the time while I was at the lake because, well, I had to be more aware of things around there for some reason. I just didn't, didn't couldn't put myself at total ease when I was working there. But... Uh, we continued on that for three years. I never saw anything more, and I became more at ease. I became more relaxed. I really enjoy the lake. It's a very tranquil place. Uh, on our part of the lake, there's no electricity. There's very few people around. There's farmers on the outskirts and wildlife throughout the entire area, from bobcats and lynx to cougar and bear. So it's, it's very diverse in, in wildlife out there. Um, three years had passed, and um, I found myself at the lake enjoying the clear nights of, uh, and the calm nights. The water was always calm like a sheet of glass. It was very peaceful, just very tranquil, great for the soul. And I'd spend my night. 